After doing some research, I have come to the conclusion that all the Knuckle Bone Scamblers are based off of absolutely nothing. Because of this fact, I've decided to do this video on the birds, though only two of them are actually based off of anything, as you'll see. The birds meaning like people like Klonik, the bird-looking dudes. Also, we're going to take a quick moment of silence for Ritadu, who I sacrificed to the fox to get a follower skin. Anyway, a moment of silence is over. I'm feeling much better now. Video time. Starting off this video, Klonik, who is that guy in the forest who gives you cards. Need I say more? Klonik is a demon appearing in the grimoires The Secrets of Solomon and two other books that I can't pronounce the name of, and I've tried. Trust me. In The Secrets of Solomon, the earliest known text in which he appears, his name was rendered as Klonith, and it is said that he is able to give wealth and to take it away. The book goes on to describe a ritual by which one can invoke him alongside Lucifer to magically transform slips of parchment into golden coins. Klonik is said to be well loved by Lucifer, and he is summoned for his abilities to bestow wealth, either to bring money over a great distance or by assisting in the discovery of hidden treasure. Klonik is a demon of wealth known to be obedient to his summoners, but only to those who show him proper respect. Klonik has a sister named Chemish who lives in the forest and provides you with relics. Unfortunately, I couldn't really find anything that this guy is based off of, unfortunately. I'm kind of sad about it, because I think she's uh, an interesting character. Uh, so we're going to move on to um, the other guy, the sword guy, whose name I don't even remember. This guy. Him. We're moving on to him. Kude is a bird-like blacksmith that can provide you different weapons or curses while you're crusading. You also choose not to take any of them, though... Do take one, and then retake the other one, and destroy it, and you will get a whole coin. Remember that. Kude is a fire demon in Yakut mythology. He was the first blacksmith and the originator of ironworking. He lives in an iron house surrounded by fire. Kude is said to possess curative skills and can heal the bones of heroes. Haru is one of the main sources of lore in this game, speaking of the old faith and the fall of Narinder. However, I don't think that he is based off of the thing. Or she. I always thought it was a girl, though they did refer to it with male pronouns. So there is that, unfortunately. I always assumed it was a girl. It's got a high-pitched voice. Anyway, uh, so I made the executive decision after finding a really sus source telling me it was a sun god that he ain't based off anything. Shorter video today, mostly because only two people are actually based off anything, which is real unfortunate, may I say. Although, the next video should be the last one, unless I find another way to uh, make another category, which I doubt it. I think um, this is, like, this is the most that I can break it up into. Anywho, oh, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you guys know the drill. Subscribe or whatnot. Oh, also, I'm feeling feelings right now, and we're gonna respond to this comment because I want to. I need to- I have some notes. Okay, first of all, thank you for saying have potential. Sometimes I wonder, I was sitting at the same amount of subscribers for a while there, until I started posting these. I would have posted these sooner if I thought they'd be so popular. I've gotten like five subscribers. Or something. No, seven. Anyway, moving on. So thank you for paying me that compliment. I, I do appreciate that. Also, I- do split these up into segments. Don't think I record this entire video in one go. I, I don't know what he's saying there. I have two seconds worth of audio on here that are there just because I missaid one word and I just need to redo that one word. Though sometimes I do misclick and I delete my entire audio. It's like, no, why did I do that? Good thing there's an undo button because sometimes that really infuriates me because I've recorded everything fine except for that one word. I need to redo that one word. Anyway, I do, do, I do do segments, but sometimes I misspeak words. There are words that I just cannot pronounce, or I stutter. I have a slight stutter, I've noticed. It's mostly when I'm reading things, which doesn't help because I have Wikipedia pages. Same reason I don't use a script. We could get into that in a minute. But anyway, I've misspoken somewhere just so many times, and I've been on it for so long. It's like, okay, whatever the next thing I record is, it'll probably be the best, so we'll just go with that. Mm. Yes, I could do it more. I don't really want to, because I do these just for fun. And, you know, after a while of recording the same audio, it doesn't become fun anymore. My channel is more of a hobby channel, so that's why it's not very professional. It's just because I decided one day no one's done enough research on all the goetic demons that the 
Heretics and Cult of Lamb are based off of. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to pay them that respect and we're going to do a whole video series. It was originally going to be one video, this whole, this whole thing. So you want to talk about segments. I split what I could have been like 20 minute video into eight videos. Circling back to why I don't use scripts. I don't enjoy writing scripts and I don't enjoy reading scripts. Because I feel like I'm like restricted by that script. Even with a script, I think I got off topic. I have a hard time not getting off topic. The only time I ever used a script was for my Bending Machine timeline, which I think is kind of uh, not not true or not canon anymore, aspects of it, um, which is why it's on private now. I can see it. You can never see it again. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Anyway, so I just... I don't produce the most professional videos. I don't propose that often, but I do enjoy what I make. Anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm sorry I got a rant. Not really. I'm not sorry. Uh, the next rant will be on Sin of the Flesh, because I have some opinions about that, and I don't really want to make it its own video. Although I could. No, we're just going to put it at the end of the next Cult of the Lamb uh, informational information video. That'll come out probably next week, unless I get time. Probably not. Anyway, yeah, bye.